Good evening, Clayton Wiltshire here. I wanted to record a quick video to right a wrong of sorts. No, I can't remember how long ago it was, but I had posted two videos about BlackBerry Playbook screen repair. And in those videos, I had uh, broken my screen, ordered a replacement, and was going to follow through on the repair process. Now, I found there was a lot of good resources online already, including dismantling videos on YouTube. And, uh, well, you just do it in reverse order to get it all back together. I'd like to report that, at least on video form, that I did successfully complete it. I did blog about it or tweet about it. But there was one key step missing I found in all the video resources online that I came across. See, here's the vintage BlackBerry playbook. Nice, well used, smudge marks, greasy fingers, what have you. When the screen came for me to replace, it was just the, the front piece and all the videos that I'd seen online brought you to the point where you took the screen off, it was disconnected from the base, from the core components. However, there is a very light, I don't know if it's aluminum, but it's a metal mount that is stuck to the screen. None of the videos out there showed how to remove this metal mount. And I racked my brain uh, quite a bit over this and finally remembered working with my dad years ago as an electrician he was and I was helping out. And we would bend PVC pipe by heating it slightly and carefully over a stove at times, just using your standard element. And... I brutalized this a little bit, but it got the job done. I took a butter knife and heated that up on a stove element and then proceeded to slide it in between the glass piece or tough plastic piece, whatever the, uh, whatever the actual makeup is, and the metal mount. And what that did was it allowed that layer of glue to separate. Mine was a little hot, so I've got some nice pieces of melt melted plastic that have been sticking out. However, I did repair this a long time ago. It hasn't been an issue. And it was that key piece in getting it back together was to take that warmed up butter knife, try, play around, don't go in too hot. Maybe play around with, you got it uh, a good middle heat you could probably touch the butter knife but feel that a good degree of warmth then you could slide it through move it around in this case the previous plastic or glass was already broken so i didn't have to be uh, too careful with it it was just the plastic that was connected to the mount that uh, got distorted a bit and uh, was able to remove that mount and reuse the glue the, the adhesive that was on the mount, which was pretty strong, to attach it to the new front piece. And then did the reverse order of the videos that I had seen, which I will post below in the notes so that you can reference those and get your BlackBerry playbook together again. That was one question that came in to me where another individual said they were stuck. That was the problem that... Uh, that was the solution I applied, was that warmed up butter knife to break the seal between the, the metal mount and the glass and successfully reuse that mount on the new glass and put it back together again. That's my three minutes of video uh, solutions for you. I'm using Adobe Presenter. It's my first time using Presenter Video Express to record. And one thing I find which is odd is as soon as you go to hit play, or pardon me, record, you cannot see yourself. So I'm staring at the camera, hoping it looks good. I like a little bit of real-time feedback usually. So, But I want to play with different software to uh, record this and do my future recordings for YouTube. So there is the solution for the playbook screen repair midway when you are taking off the mount. 
and just a little critique on Adobe Presenter Video Express. Thank you very much.